Connor Reeves and you are watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold! Yay! To Rio, an old Glasgow town But no matter how far or how wide I roam Welcome to the day 11 wrap-up, which is, Robo, is the final day wrap-up here of the Double X Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold. Robbo, this has got to be the greatest uh, Commonwealth Games since 1938, because let's face it, uh, Hamilton and London were absolute fizzers, and what a games it's been. And tonight at the opening ceremony, we're going to see a kookaburra laughing his way with a flag flying all around the stadium at Hampton Park. Mark Knowles, congratulate you. We salute you because you are the flag bearer for 2014. Robbo, it's an emotional time for me. I'm sure it's an emotional time for you. Yes, it, no, it is. Well, we've gone through a bit of a lull. The last 24 hours has been tough, but we're picking ourselves back up and we're going into this closing ceremony, all guns blazing. I can tell you there's some special things going to happen tonight. Uh, tonight, Australia takes back the Commonwealth Games flag and uh, there'll be a flag uh, presenting ceremony. I was kind of hoping it was going to be, because uh, I heard Sally Pearson's involved. I was hoping Sally was going to return the flag back to us, the one that we gave her as you can see here, the other night after her famous win. So maybe that'll happen, Mossy. But uh, you mentioned the flag bearer there. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, disappointed. I take that news, uh, you know, to heart a little bit. I was hoping Big Dan Reaper Coley uh, would carry the flag. I mean, hit to me, he was the obvious pick. Well, Dan's one of the boys. Everybody in Cessna Everybody. He's a good shooter. He's got a good shot. He's got a good shot. Nobody shoots like Dan. What's the man? What's the man? Just amazing. Pick, what well, do you Dan's think? the man. What do you think? I mean, that's is Mona just had a brain explosion there? Well, you know, does he even make any decisions? Oh, here? He maybe maybe he's a puppet leader. Who knows? Um, but I thought Jumpy would have been a good candidate as well. And if not Jumpy, the two of us could have happily done it as well. But a special moment. We're, we're going to see Jess Mowboy, Kylie Minogue. Uh, they'll be there. Listen, you, I'm actually going to release something for everyone out there. Not just is Kylie there, but uh, Kylie and Eric Hollingsworth will be doing a rendition of Especially For You wow. at the closing ceremony and you heard it here first. That's fantastic. Well, uh, Mick Fanning will also be there, proud uh, Gold Coaster and uh, multiple surfing world champion. Um, and we've got Gabriel Pitcher. Uh, he's the young fella who will be, uh, he's basically the mascot for the games. He's the ambassador for the games and what a dream come true for him to be there tonight. I can't wait for it. Uh, Mossy, it's going to be electric. This show? Yes. Absolutely, exactly. So why don't we turn our hands now, Robbo, to uh, the one that everyone wants to know. It is the Glasgow Gold Medal Tally. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, things are all done. The last events have been done. We, uh, we got out to the road race today. We saw the men's road race. Unfortunately, no gold for Australia there. Uh, Mark Renshaw in fifth. Um, but we sent Cal to the hockey. And didn't he do well for us? He got us a gold medal. Once uh, again, Carl delivers because, let's face it, Carl's the man. Carl is the man. And uh, Kookaburras, they knocked over India 4-0, and uh, they did it easily. At about the same time, Mossy, the women's netball team, the Diamonds, they had a big win, and uh, they'll still be partying. I'm not sure they'll even make the closing ceremony. They'll be that happy, and uh, they'll be partying hard. Uh, so they had a big win there. That was a couple of gold. But the third and final gold of the day uh, went to our, our squash players, Mossy. Um, this was very special, and we had um, Dave Palmer and uh, Cameron Pilly in the doubles taking out that one over England. So well done. And I'm and sure uh, David Palmer in the uh, back streets of Lithgow, being a proud Lithgowian, uh, he's uh, hitting the balls up against the fence and all of a sudden he finds himself back on the medal day. What a great, what a great tribute to what a great career it's been. In they go, Mossy, in they go. I'm putting four in because we've got four essentially today. Uh, but where's the tally? Well, England, uh, congratulations to them. Uh, 58 gold medals, 174 in total. Australia, 49 gold medals. Uh, would have been nice to crack the 50. That's okay, 137 in total. Canada, uh, 32. Scotland, 19 gold. But Mossy, the all-important uh, medal tally here. Get it ready. Drum roll, please. Because I can announce here on Glasgow Gold that Scotralia has in fact topped the medal table in their first attempt as the United Nation of Scotland and Australia. And uh, they've ended up with 68 gold medals. It's showing off a little bit, Was Mossy. Was that the uh, UNS, United Nation of Scotland? I think it I is, like it. it is. And uh, and 190 in total. So 68 to Scotland, 58 to England. There you go, game over. Well played, Scotland. I reckon they've got a big future at this stuff. 
Speaking about futures, Robbo, we've talked uh, so much about uh, the power of the Blood Nut Brothers, the blueies out there. I'm talking about the gingers, and we know this is the ginger games. And mm. what I want to do is I want to cast our eyes back to uh, the first ginger games um, person who came on board. It was none other than Johnny, the ginger journo, and this is what he had to say at the start of the Double X Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. In Glasgow, George Square for the Ginger Games, and here we go. We've got me, mate. What do you reckon is going to happen? Uh, I think the Gingers are probably going to do pretty well. Uh, we are a genetically robust race, so we've got what it takes. Well, there's no doubting, Robert. It has been a Ginger Games. Yep, happily. Uh, you've ra you've raised the roof and you've led the team well with your gingerness, Mossy, and uh, haven't people gravitated towards the Ginger Games? People have never felt more comfortable being ginger than at these games here in Glasgow, and I think it's going to do a lot for the confidence of gingers all around the world. So, well done. And speaking of doing a lot uh, for local towns all around Australia, in the bush or in the cities as well, we have to give... A massive shout out to our executive producers, Why Leave Town. Um, your contri contribution has enabled us to live out our dream and we want to help you live out your dream. So anyone out there, uh, get in contact with us uh, or Why Leave Town through the various social media and online channels. Throw out their uh, special shout outs too to Pure Performance Sports, Naked Water. Uh, we also want to uh, include Bar TV. Uh, and VPA Productions, we're proud friends of all of those who have, uh, again, provided plenty of support for us. And you, 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 the triple you, you have been fantastic. And without anyone, we wouldn't be here uh, in Glasgow doing this thing. Quite right, Mossy. Yeah, I echo all those sentiments. Thanks very much, guys. And uh, yeah, look yep. out. There could be a campaign soon to get Mossy and Robbo to Rio. Stay tuned. And talking about echoing elements, Robbo, um, in a stadium down in Gateshead, we... Uh, Kept the man all day long, Craig Burns, to uh, provide us with you know a lot of words from his uh, dad, who's uh, Robbie Burns, huge uh, national hero here in Scotland. We got him to recite a uh, poem that we thought was probably the most famous. He'd never even heard of it, and this is Old Lang Syne. Old Lang Syne, take two, action. Should old acquaintance be forgotten, and never brought to men. Should old acquaintance be forgotten, and days owe a old lang syne. For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, will tack a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne. So pretty amazing, Robbo. Uh, he'd never heard of it before. I think he's in his mid-twenties, and he's never obviously been out at midnight. No, look, we saved the best till last there tonight, and uh, we're getting lots of feedback, lots of fan mail for Burnsy. It's been great, and a huge thanks to him and his entire family, No, uh, especially his dad, for penning all those numbers, and we can't wait to see where Burnsy goes to from here. Uh, I think back there in Logan, uh, south southern suburbs of Brisbane, it'll be a ticket tape parade when, they, when he gets home. I'm just going to put something out there. It is... Not quite fact, but it could well be. I haven't quite got to this, but his middle name is Banjo. There you go. There you go. Um, mate, a guy who's been well amongst things, uh, we tend to send him out in the rain or out in awkward uh, parts of the city, trying to capture a bit of the emotion, a bit of the colour on the streets. Uh, he's also our uh, producer in behind the scenes as well, and that's Cal. And as always, the man in behind the scenes, he's been out there amongst the streets and at the sporting venues trying to give you a little bit of colour in behind the scenes. Well, we're going to bring him into the studio today uh, to provide his final words. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it ended. But when we look back at the Double X Games, we see 11 of the most unforgettable in Commonwealth history. And in the thick of every single action, Mossy and Robbo. There they were, the Sally Embrace, the Royals, the formation of a new nation, Scotralia. And who could forget Jumpy the Kangaroo and all his adventures around Glasgow. 12 days, two blokes, one couch. That's not gold, that's Glasgow gold. Well, Robbo, there's no doubt about it. Carl's the man. Nah, he's the man, and I'm giving it a standing ovation. Well played, Carl. Uh, love your work, and we uh, wouldn't have been able to do it without him. Well done. Well, there's some highlights from Carl Robbo, mate. 
it's uh, continuing to, to emotion here and welling up on the inside and about to go on the outside. But mate, I want to just get a little bit of a rundown from you, a bit of a debrief. What's been the highlights for you? Yeah, look, it's hard to go past the marathon gold, Michael Shelley. Uh, that was very special. Um, yeah, look, there he is there. Me posing as Michael Shelley's brother to get to the front of the queue to go and see him. That was pretty good as well. So hard to beat that for me. What about you, mate? Mate, I thought it was going to be jumpy, but I had a good hard look at myself in the mirror. I had a good hard think about it this afternoon. And, mate, I watched Jack High as a kid. I grew up with this uh, bloke, you know, thinking one day hopefully I'll get to meet him. And there we are, were, arm in arms with uh, Kelvin Kirko. It was just fantastic, mate, out at the lawn bowls. You can't top that. You cannot top that. Well, that's all we've got time for of this Double X Commonwealth Games here in Glasgow. It's been awesome. We thank you so much for all of your support. We're actually going to release uh, the next part of the journey, which uh, we'll be looking at uh, potentially um, a, a tribute to uh, Steve Monaghetti, a new chief in the making, and what we think should be as far as the Commonwealth Games in the future. Uh, this one here has been, Robbo, none other than gold. No, Mossy. They've been Glasgow gold. Hi, I'm Hamish Peacock, and you're watching Mosso and Robert. <laughs> I love it. Hi, I'm Hamish Peacock, and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. an old Glasgow town, but no matter how far or how wide I roam, I still call Scotch Rail home.